They say when you meet the love of your life, time stops. Wipe it down, wipe, 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 wipe it down, wipe, 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 wipe it down. In my head, I don't know what to think. He knelt to the ground and pulled out a ring and said, Marry me, Juliet, you never have to be alone. What's the biggest country in the world? The biggest country? Yeah. Isn't it this, uh, US? US? No. Maybe, no. maybe, you think. It it's, it's a big country, eh? Go to a fountain and start taking the coins out? Pshhh. <laughs> 70 cents, two quarters, five pennies, and make one a dime. You began to wonder why you came. Where did I go wrong? The Don't know what you're saying. You're flying higher than a plane, and I'm not complaining. It's getting too loud. We'll figure it out. I'm out of my brain. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your captain speaking. If you look to the right side of your aircraft, you will notice Flight 198 challenging us to a race. I've turned the Boston seatbelt sign back on because shit is about to get real. Dad, I want to get married. Say sorry. For what? Say sorry. But for what? First you have to say sorry. But what did I do? Say sorry first. At least tell me the reason. First say sorry. Okay, Dad, I'm sorry. Now you're ready for marriage. You learn to say sorry without any reason. What are you gonna do, Vax? I'm gonna try and pay it, but I'm gonna bust in this video. <laughs> there it is, Vax. Saturday it is the weekend. Let's get some massive tunes on in the sunshine. Here is some Joel Corey. What a tune! This is lonely.
Times that have been embarrassed to be me, part three. So one time I was going to London to go to a very intense and very important job interview that I was very nervous for. And one fun and interesting fact about me is that when I'm nervous, I pretty much just say whatever's in my head and I don't stop talking. So I get to the interview that morning and I'm feeling a little bit nervy. And the first person I see is a nice girl who was also interviewing for the job, so I just start speaking to her. And obviously I didn't know her, so I didn't have much to say, so I just decided to talk about how much I needed a wee. Luckily she was cooperative and was like, yeah, I need a wee too. Like a nervous wee. Yeah, like a nervous wee. And as we bonded over our bladders, the woman in charge told us all to get in the lift and go upstairs to start the interview process. So we all get in the lift. Once we get out, what's in front of me? A toilet sign. So naturally I turn to my new bladder bestie and I say, <laughs> look, should we sneak off and have a wee? And it wasn't her. It was somebody else who just stared at me and didn't respond.